Hi, this is Dr. Rosina. How are you today? Do you ever feel so stressed that you're not able to enjoy your life? Is your life so busy that there is no time to sit down and relax? Well, don't worry. A lot of people are in the same boat. Let me share a few of the exercises today that you can still apply in your busy life and break your stress cycle, calm down, and enjoy your life. Let's use the example of our friend, Selena. Now, Selena is a very caring, compassionate, professional woman. Her life is so busy, she's constantly going between activities, trying to fulfill the demands of her home and her job, and she doesn't have any time for herself. Now, one day, she had to go to another city, and um, she was running late for her flight. She rushed at home uh, and forgot something important. She drove erratically and did not even notice all the sights and scenes she passed. She was certainly worried about being late. She made to the flight. And as she was um, sitting on that flight, she constantly worried about what she has to do next. And in that process, there was turbulence and oxygen mass fell. And um, in, uh, while she was trying to figure out, she noticed that the person next to her was an elderly woman and who could not figure out how to use that oxygen mask. Well, the compassionate person inside her wanted to help. So she started helping this other woman and the mask got entangled in her hair. So it took longer than uh, she anticipated. And in that process, her own oxygen level went down and she passed out. Now, what would you tell Selena? You'll tell her, you're supposed to put your mask on first before helping others, right? But that's exactly what Selena said. She would have done the same thing. But at that moment, her mind was not present. Her body was there, but her mind was somewhere else. And therefore, she just reacted in the moment and made a decision that costed her passing out. So what can Selena do in her busy life? despite all the challenges, so that she can calm down and make those wise decisions. Well, let's teach her some of the exercises. The first one we can teach her is called relaxation for busy people called feet to floor. So if you are sitting down and not driving, why don't you stand up? And if you're standing, then just bring attention to your feet. I call it feet to floor to give you a cue. So when your feet touch the floor, you can remember to do this exercise. So bring attention to your feet and observe, feel, experience how it feels in your feet as it touching the floor. Is the floor hard or soft of the carpet? Are you wearing your shoes or not? Is it feeling warm or cold? How the muscles feel? Just bring attention to your feeling. And if, if you want to move, you can move, but you don't have to. Then bring attention to your calves. Feel how it feels in your calves. Are they tight? Are they loose? If they're tight and you want to relax, you can let go. If not, that's OK, too. Now bring attention to your thighs. How does it feel in your thighs? If they're tight, you can let go. If they're not, just bring attention and feel how it feels. Now bring attention to your hips. How does your hip muscles feel? Bring attention to your tummy. How does it feel in your tummy? Do you feel hungry or do you feel full? You don't have to run and get some food right away, but acknowledge and feel how it feels. Now bring attention to your chest. Notice how you're breathing. Are you breathing shallow or are you breathing deep? How does the muscles feel in your chest? Now bring attention to your shoulders. Shut your shoulders. Feel how it feels in your shoulders and let it go. Feel how it feels in your upper arms and in your lower arms and in your fingers. How's your posture? How does it feel in your jaws or your upper face? and take a relaxing breath 
and let go. I'll ask you to tighten your whole body and hold it. And when you let go, I'm going to ask you to make a sound like, ah. So take a deep breath in. Hold it, hold it, hold it, and let go. <sighs> and feel all the tension going from your head, through your body, from your legs, down in the earth. Now imagine that you're on a long drive and you stop at a rest stop. How do you stretch when you get out of the car? Just stretch like that and look around everywhere and take a panoramic view of everything that you see, the colors, the sides, the shapes, people around or the cars around, the building, the floor, how you look, you know, how your clothes are and how you feel in your body. To notice everything as if you're noticing it for the first time. Hear whatever you hear. Maybe you hear, you hear some birds chirping or some cars passing by or people talking. Whatever you hear. Smell how you smell. Is, can you smell some garbage or it's a good smell? Just Or it's absence of smell. Just notice. Feel how it feels on your skin. Does it feel cold or hot? How it feels in your body? Just observe everything in that moment. And then bring a smile on your face, a crescent moon smile. Be thankful for all the senses that you have and then move on to doing whatever you are doing. So if you want to sit down, you can sit down. So as Selena practiced this exercise, she was able to calm down and she was more likely to remember the things she needed to take with her. Now she's walking towards the car. So let's teach her some mindful driving technique. Well, mindfulness means presence in the moment. And you're experiencing everything non-judgmentally and intentionally. So as she's walking towards the car, she can become aware of her body movement and become aware of what she sees. She looks at her car as if she's seeing it for the first time. She notices how it is parked, if there's dirt on it, without passing any judgment. She just observes it. And then when, as she's opening the car door, she feels how it feels in her body. When she sits down, she, she feels how the seat feels. As she's starting the car, she notices her hand movement and experiences how it feels to put hands on the steering wheel and notices her, how her leg goes between the accelerator and brake. And as the car starts moving, that kinesthetic feeling in the body and she observes all the sights as she is passing and the perspective that changes moment by moment. Now she is noticing all the sights and scenes as she is passing by. As she is calm and she is noticing things, she may also notice that worry thought that comes in her mind. What if I'm late? What if I miss my flight? Well, as that worry thought comes, she also recognizes and now she can use another technique called crossroad technique. See, when she is worried, her mind is focused on the negative consequence of not making to the airport in time. But there's always 50% chance. There's 50% chance that she may make to the airport and there's 50% chance she may not make it. But her mind, when it's worried, it's focused on the negative results. So as she became aware, she said, okay, I may make it in time or I may not make it in time. But if I keep thinking positive and things go positive, I could be happy all along. And if I think positive and things do go negative, I'd be calm and composed enough to deal with whatever problem happens, if it happens. But if I expect negative and focus on the negative results, then I would be continuously suffering. And if I make it in time, I would have suffered for no reason. And if I expect negative and things do go negative, then I would suffer twice, once mentally and then in actuality. And she didn't want it to do that. So she started using the mantra to train her brain. So as soon as the negative worry thought came, she started saying, I choose not to suffer 
before suffering. I will deal with the problem if it happens, because there's a chance it may not happen, and when it happens. And I'm going to focus on and do my best to get the results I want rather than the results I don't want. So she focused on driving, drove carefully so that she could reach in time. She felt calm for a few minutes, but the negative thought came again. She trained her brain again, used the same mantra, I choose not to suffer before suffering. I will deal with the problem if it happens, when it happens. And I'm going to focus on and try to do my best to get the results I want rather than the results I don't want. And that way, she was able to calm down. She was able to enjoy her driving using the mindful driving technique. And she reached the airport on time. And when she was sitting in that flight, when the food was served, she ate it mindfully. She used all her senses to see, to smell, to taste, and she enjoyed her food. And when there was the turbulence and the oxygen mass fall down, when her emotional mind said, I need to help this elderly woman, her rational mind said, you need to put on your own oxygen mask. Her wise mind kicked in and said, put on your oxygen mask so you can help this other person. And that's what she did. And she was able to, despite all the stressors and demands in her life, she was able to calm down. She was able to enjoy her day and she was able to make wise decisions. Now, you know all these techniques, so you can also apply in your life and enjoy each day, each moment of your life and make wise decision and feel calm and composed. You can uh, download some of these exercises from website www.stresstojoy.com front slash presentation gifts that I have specially prepared for you. You can learn this and many, many more exercises in my book, Stress to Joy, and you can access it at stresstojoy.com. You can also learn many of the other exercises from my blog site at drrosina.com. I wish all these exercises help you. Please let me know and spread the message so we can bring more happiness in the world. To your health and happiness, Dr. Rosina. Thank you.